Halloween party. It's been a while since I've been one to one of these, Autumn. <clears throat> My name is Detective Willow, I would like to go by. Oh, I am so dear sorry, Detective Willow. Thank you, Detective Piper. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with these movies? What? I really like them. <laughs> I gotta go use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> Come on, are you gonna dance? Yeah, I am, but I'm a little bit hungry. Yeah, I am too. I'm gonna go get some food. Do you girls want anything? I'll take a slice of the chocolate cake. I'll pass. Okay, be right back. <laughs> oh no, oh that lemonade, that, that whole bunch of lemonade that I drank earlier. Oh yeah, I, I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay bro, see you in a bit. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> hey girls. Hey Maya. How are you girls enjoying the party so far? <laughs> it's great and nice puns by the way. Thank you. Here's your piece of cake. Oh, yum, thanks. Hey, guys. Hey, Morgan. Uh, guys, someone please help. Everyone, listen up. Veronica's been murdered. Hold up, what did you just say? Veronica, the little brown mouse, died. She's in the bathroom. I went to go use the restroom and I saw her laying there with blood stains everywhere. Oh no. Wait, Wilson, what did you say? Someone has murdered Veronica. So what you're saying is we're standing in a room with a potential murderer in it? I'm scared to say, but yes. Come on, Detective Piper. We've got some business to take care of. That's not a very good idea! <sighs> Veronica! Veronica! <sighs> no. No, 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 this can't be happening at my party. Veronica? Maya. She's gone. <laughs> no, this party took a wrong turn. I didn't expect a murderer to come. Look, Maya, we'll get to the bottom of this. Detective Piper and I will figure out who the murderer is. <laughs> what? No, we won't. You're crazy. You're really just going to let a murderer get away with this? Well, I, I, I didn't say that. Come on, let's get to work. Willow, Autumn, whatever your name is. Okay, we're going to interview every single person here and get the details and get the answers. But you know a murderer could just be standing right behind her back, stab a knife, and we'll fall flat on our face and we won't know how he died ever. I've got your back. You heard of the murder story today, didn't you? Yeah. Tell us where you were and why. We were both dancing here. We didn't have a clue what was going on. Where were you at the time of the murder? Well, I was dancing here with Maya. I was here also dancing. Well, I was just hopping to going to the bathroom and as soon as I saw, I dashed back here to tell the others. And I just waited here. I was also dancing. As for I. I was dancing. Same here. I was dancing and then we, I went to go get some food because we both were hungry and the next thing I know she's dead. Well, I was dancing with Veronica while she was still alive. And, and the next thing I know, Wilson comes back and, and tells me that she's dead. Thank you. This story just keeps getting more and more depressing. I mean, to just think of one of our classmates got murdered by another one of our classmates, that's crazy and insane. I know, but we're gonna bring justice to this and we're gonna show who the murderer is. This is really a job for the police, you know. I know, but <laughs> come on, we're detectives. This is our job. Not really, it's just Halloween. Okay. 
Now that we got a lot of evidence, we just need one more thing. Gather everyone around. Okay, everyone. Now we have most of the evidence and details on the death of Veronica. But now is your last time to prove yourself innocent or guilty. So everyone, please, we're going to go around and you will state your claims. And also, please state if you had anything against Veronica. And be honest, we're your classmates and we know if you're lying. Starting with you, Paul. Well, I was just dancing here with the others and I, I'm so innocent, I, I promise I did not murder. Well, um, I was dancing here at the time. I, I didn't really like Veronica. If I'm telling the truth, I didn't really like her. She was just, I don't know, there was something about her that I didn't like and I didn't really trust her. I was also dancing here, although I had no problem with Veronica. I was going to the restroom and right as I appeared there, I saw her dead. Blood splatters everywhere and I had nothing against her. As for I, I was dancing here, waiting for Wilson to get back, and I am telling the honest truth by saying that she was a bit stuck up, and she was selfish, and she was a brat. I mean, she always bragged how smart she was, and I don't know, she was just really annoying, but but uh, I'm, I'm innocent. Excuse me, a question. Yes, Amelia? How do we know that you two aren't actually the murderers? You could be just playing innocent with us. Oh yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah, how do we know you guys are actually the murderers? Um, I assure you, we were both dancing here at the time of the murder. And why do you think we would even be figuring out, if, even if we wanted to play innocent, that's a really poor way to cover up your tracks. Because it could show us proving guilty at the end. And we aren't the murderer, so there's nothing to prove us wrong. I trust them. I was dancing here with Morgan at the time of the murder. I had no idea that, that she was going to get murdered and... That's enough, Maya. It's okay. Next, moving on to Morgan. Well, as Maya stated, I was dancing here with her. I told her to hurry up. She was going to the bathroom and I said I'll be here and I'll just wait and she never returned. I was about to go check on her until Wis Wilson came barging in and, well, told me she was dead. <laughs> it's okay. Finally, it's my turn. Ugh. I despise that little brat so much. She drove me crazy. Ugh. I couldn't take another ounce of her. She was just the most annoying little mouse you'll ever meet. Ugh, no wonder so many people hate mice. I mean, this is finally a session where I can vent out all my hatred for her. Oh, she was so annoying. I mean, just look at her. She's so annoying. She always brags. <laughs> look, I got an A plus on this test. Oh, look at me. I got 100%. <laughs> look, nobody cares, okay? You can just... <sighs> she was very annoying. She thought she was the smartest in the class. Oh, she was so annoying. I mean, she was so full of herself. She always thought she was better than the other person. It was so annoying. <laughs> I mean, she had some major issues. I mean, I'm happy. I would have gladly killed her if somebody already hadn't done it. <laughs> I mean, I would have gladly done it, but somebody beat me to it. <laughs> Makes us both happy. <laughs> Did you murder her? <laughs> no. Of course the murderer will say no. They don't want to get caught. Why did you even ask that question? Hey, 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 it's just a question. I was dancing here at the time, and, well, yeah. Me? Oh, yes, well, I was also dancing here. Well, besides the little fact that I went to go get some snacks, us, were, we were hungry, and uh, so I decided to go get some food. As for me, I was dancing here the whole time and didn't leave. Amelia, did you have anything against Veronica? Are you kidding? I remember back in elementary school, we used to be BFFs. Why would I ever want to murder my former BFF? So, let's say, Amelia, in middle school, didn't you two get in a giant fight and you never forgave each other? 
Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we we got in a fight. Why? Nothing much. It's just a question. Okay. Yes, Detective Piper. So after that fight, you two never forgave each other, so that means you're still enemies, correct? Well, I would say frenemies. Enemies is a strong word. We, we, we still were former friends and, well, yeah, we weren't exactly enemies. But you never forgave each other and you didn't talk to each other. You never worked on projects together. You didn't even hang out anymore. So what does that tell us? Your enemies? Not to mention, you always tattletailed on each other. Both of you, in fact, you always pulled pranks on each other and got each other in trouble. I was just friendly joking. Is there a problem with that? Not at all. Say, did you go anywhere else when you were getting the snacks? Did you happen to, I don't know, follow her to the bathroom or anything? Are you kidding? I'm not some creepy stalker. Why are you putting me in the spotlight? Just making sure you're not the murderer. Unless you actually are. <laughs> and why are you accusing me of doing this? Oh, we're not just accusing you. We're just asking you some in-depth questions. Is there a problem? Uh, well, uh, uh, no. But why don't you ask Sabrina? She absolutely hated Veronica. And you're accusing me of all people? Veronica was dancing the whole time. I even saw her dancing the whole time. <laughs> you're seriously. Is this too much pressure for you? I'm sorry. Admit it, you two were enemies and you never got over that silly little fight. You two will forever be enemies now that you can't forgive each other because she's dead. Isn't that right, huh? Uh, uh, but, uh, fine, fine, it was me. I c killed her. <sighs> I murdered her. You caught me. I murdered her. Yes, you heard I murdered Veronica, that little disgusting little mouse that nobody liked. But I mean, did you hear how many people actually hated her? I mean, there was a lot of people in this room. I mean, at least four, including myself. <laughs> That's a lot. And, well, nobody liked her and they all would have killed her if it wasn't for me, so you're welcome, you're welcome everyone. I saved you all. I mean, in middle school, that's- oh, <laughs> you don't even want to know, she was horrible. She was trying to steal my friends away, and she tried to change, and she just turned into a giant brat, and she just got so full of herself, and she- oh, she was so, so annoying. She tried to be the teacher's pet, she tried to be their favorite, she tried to steal all her friends away, and she just bragged and bragged. Not to mention, one time she even claimed all the credit for one of the posters we were working on with each other, and she got an A+, plus, and I got an F- minus because she said that I didn't help her at all, and she said afterwards she was joking, and it actually made me fail. Like she kept pranking me on pranks that I didn't think was actually funny. And she was so selfish. She always stole my things and never gave them back and said, oops, she forgot. Oh, she forgot, wow. No, she didn't. I was so fed up with her, I decided to stand up to her. And, well, that's where we are today. I decided that this party would be the perfect place to murder her and to finally put an end to all my misery, thanks to her. And of course, I wouldn't have been suspected of a thing if it wasn't for you two. Oh, and by the way, I have a list of the next victims on my murder list. <sighs> next up on my list was Maya for being little miss popular and stealing my spotlight that I deserve. Well, you're not going to get very far with that because the police just arrived. No, let me out. No, please stop. No. <laughs> What bam The power of teamwork. <laughs> Great job, Detective Piper. Great job, Detective Willow. <laughs> Thanks, girls, for figuring this out. I'm sure she would have gotten away with it. I didn't expect her at all to be the actual murderer. Yeah. Really surprising, right? People can deceive you sometimes. It's sad to say Veronica's gone and we'll miss her a lot. Yeah, as for I... <sighs> The day was saved, Detective Piper. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Detective Willow. <laughs>